I grew up in a little town uh, in South Texas, Freer, known for rattlesnakes and uh, buckaroos was a mascot. Uh, but both of my parents were educators. Um, my dad was the uh, high school principal at the time and my mom was a teacher. So uh, they had a, a tremendous impact on me uh, growing up. When I became a, su a superintendent here at Somerset ISD, the, the board actually encouraged me to further my education. Uh, they told me that uh, what greater example uh, than to achieve, to achieve the highest level of education. And of course, it was a sacrifice uh, for my wife Elsa, my sons, you know, David and Nicholas, because I was gone a lot. I still remember in 2015, just uh, uh, walking through that stage and them announcing my name at UT Austin and the whole orange light lighting up uh, that evening was a great experience. Somerset, uh, in the district has really uh, changed uh, since uh, t uh, 2008. First of all, we've almost, we've almost doubled in size. There's been a tremendous uh, growth in the area. But uh, with, the, with the board, and there's five uh, current board members that uh, hired me, we've been able to do uh, some innovative things. Uh, we've been able to bring programs uh, to the district uh, in STEM, automotive, cosmetology, we uh, uh, formed an early college high school uh, for our students, uh, which means they get 60 college hours uh, uh, in an associate's degree when they graduate uh, from high school uh, in a district that, uh, 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 where you have a high uh, poverty rate, low you know, uh, socioeconomic students, you know, they, it comes with a stigma. And we wanted to be the ones that break that stigma, so we partnered with NIET. And uh, NIET was a uh, teacher development program that uh, has a, uh, a system of merit pay. So what we wanted to do is uh, make sure, use a business model where teachers were going to be compensated based on their performance, uh, which I think was the game changer here at uh, Somerset ISD and has uh, allowed us to get to where we are today. Our, our goal, of course, is to get all our students to be successful. Um, we set a goal for our teachers and for our students that we wanted to make sure we were one of the top tier public school districts in Bear County. So we spoke to our teachers, we, we had uh, intensive training, and we told them as long as they had confidence in their students and that they were well trained that we would achieve our goal, and that was to improve from the previous year. Two years ago we scored a 79 which uh, was middle of the road and we told them that that was unacceptable. So I challenged them, one, if one more student passes in every classroom, we could achieve that B. Well, this last year, we achieved a score of an 87 as a district, which actually tied Northside ISD, which was a tremendous accomplishment when you look at the challenges that we have as a district. This year, we're even going to further that goal and uh, our goal now is to achieve an A and to be the top public school district in Bear County. There are no crutches, okay? There are uh, no excuses. We want to make sure that all kids succeed who enter our classroom every day. So again, our goal is to serve others and to leave our community, leave our schools better off, uh, better off when, when we got here. So, that's a big passion of mine. That's something that I preached uh, to all uh, educators, to all employees here, that we're here to serve others, not to serve ourselves or for our own self-interest. And if we can do that, we'll make this place a better place.